Hi guys, it's Numa Stacker here, and uh, this is from South Florida. Not that it makes a huge amount of difference where I am. And uh, I've got something a little bit different to show you today, which is something that uh, I've never seen before, but um, I, I ordered just to see what they were like and uh, get your opinion on them. So these particular coins or medals are different from my usual medals in the sense that they are not Chinese uh, at all. At least I don't think they're Chinese. I think they're all American. And uh, the main uh, ANA, the American Numismatic uh, Association show, they release some celebration medals, some art medals that represent the place that it's held. So these are produced um, by the Medallic Art Company, as you can see, uh, who've been going an awfully long time. And uh, it comes in a set of medals, one silver and, uh, and one uh, brass. And uh, I hadn't seen what these were going to be like. I hadn't seen any on the ANA registration list. Uh, and you know, A A and A are based in Colorado Springs, and so one side shows the the home uh, of the A and A, the A and A office with the mountains in the back, the headquarters building, and then on the other side, uh, you have a uh, some kind of liberty or American allegory or something like that, but to celebrate the 126th convention in Denver. Colorado. It's pretty cool. It's a kind of interesting kind of antique thing, but you can see just on a very unfortunate high spot on her anatomy, there was a little problemette. And, uh, and you can see on the same high spot on this one, that problem is not there. Um, she is... Uh, the brass medal, and has a little intrusive uh, element uh, in the same uh, on the silver medal. So unfortunately, uh, well, you can see there, look, you can see what's going on here. And uh, I think that uh, somewhere maybe that high point was a little too high for the capsule, and it rubbed and caused a, a mark on the inside of the capsule and a mark on that particular high point. So uh, only six out of ten medallic art company, pretty bad quality control because I think that was obviously... Uh, so not very impressed with the ANA's medal. I would have thought that for the American Numismatic Association they would try and do something a little bit higher quality. So uh, here's a little bit of a close-up without the top of the capsule, and you can see when I take the capsule off how the, uh, the, the metal itself is rubbed in that um, very um, high spot of her frontal area. So, uh, I mean, it's not a bad metal. It's quite nice, but I have to tell you guys, it has gone back for a refund because it didn't meet quality standards. Let me know what you think of the ANA and the ANA's medal this year.